problem on a distance people in of share network. We no go pay justice to Sierra Leone. If Sierra Network comes alone, we no can visit the Deputy Internal Affairs Minister, Lahai Lawrence Lima. Maybe we can talk small. Who does this particular person be? Welcome to Sierra Network, Deputy Minister. Thank you very much for having me. And I'm pleased for that one on your face. The name, Lahai Lawrence Lima. Tell me small about your name. Well, the name Lai actually come as a result of the fact that we born me in Big Brother and I'm a, a hero. Okay. Yes, na the Dama and uh, they named me after that and Big Brother and name mm -hmm. Lai. But then, um, as a small boy, when he come up, me not junior because uh, like carry me that we a name okay. you know, Amara. And so, me uncle we na reverend father na in give me na he just decide to call me junior because then me papa no really go school and then you know myself so then understand the differences that they are since in those school me understand so when you carry that you know he's a junior yeah. so my uncle will call me junior so for the one that we me and then go together you know me as a junior but me uncle na reverend father and when I lost my daddy like at some stage I will meet you in the house and I pull me up. And uh, after my uh, last exams, I went there for baptizing in 2004 before I left Kenema for comfort and country. And so during the baptism at that time, I got the Lawrence name. And so school, where they school from primary to, to secondary, finish secondary, you know, I highly know most of my schoolmates they know. The one that when I'm close friends, they will grow up you know, for junior. And, uh, when Adam don't sit to us at that time, I uh, baptized and then I did the Lawrence name. Oh, yes. So I'm uh, only one lost, let me come, call, colleagues are lost trace of me. So I uh, decided to put the Lawrence name yeah. so that we see the connection on the island. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, okay. so when Junior with the grapple, what did I be admiration? Well, when I grapple, I become a daddy and a soldier. Mm -hmm. And I saw the army, and I fought the bomb war, come and life and join police. When they come up, and I did, of course, he meets my mom. But with that, he enforced self to keep them away from the girl to keep them. And so, he and I, I mean, my mom really did one boy to keep them for her. And the big brother self joined the human soldier. Okay. And the fact that there was a big fall, an accident where he left the fallen attic. So, we did it from us a very small boy there. But because with that, the aspiration of him for them, they were one of them to keep them. Join the army as a cadet officer. So that been like I've been getting that kind of orientation as I come up. Um, but then we'll be small, small, the likes of uh, pres late President J.S. Momo, Yaya Khan, uh, late Major General Mr. Rally. Do you know what I mean? We've been instructors for them. We have like, I mean, been trained and drill. It's a parade where basically we say drill and parade. And stuff. So like me daddy, when we small in the mention, then he will have been a name. They tell me if we don't reach of age now, um, for long we can possibly go and skate it. Because at some point, it's a president mom will be able to tell and say, no, no, you can't not be you cannot follow we will put on a kid at school. So by then I was a very small boy. So as I grew up, that kind of orientation in the day. So even when I lost me daddy, right, it, uh, after we had uh, passed the worst exams, of course, then it will be difficult for me to learn if I will be doing a job to take care of the small one. So, the passion for still Canada and the reborn in me again. So, I decided to come through the military. And the military was a very difficult one. We were more than 2,000 two ago for the intake. They needed only 20. Wow. But with the grace of God and consistent focus in the training, I'll be able to go through the selection process. And I'll be able to go through the training as well and a commission as an officer. And at the end of the military, after some time, my passion again changed um, for read law because um, in the military, where they are still like, because we come in the military when we meet this transition from 
the one party state to, to democracy. democracy. So we meet the kind of reform where the British show, um, officers then has been really come for rebrand and restructure the army. So now that period they we come in. And so me now I'm passing away and all like for suicide and the seize advantage from passing and so I get that kind of passion in me and even in the military we are in a battalion. I've been the teach rules of engagement and also law of armed conflict. So the British officers that meet me, they lecture senior NCOs at some point. So then grow passion in me and uh, we talk and I get for tell them, say me get interest for read law okay. and uh, we want for dinner the legal department. So they may have go for ask me for apply and I apply and can conduct interview for me in a defense and I've been good for succeeding the interview. Finally, I come now the defense ministry. Um, well, um, the defense ministry now the directorate of legal department and then I get for do a paralegal training at the army and so I mean I'll be an advisory paralegal and I work now court martial as well as assistant to the office of the prosecutor now court martial. So I don't train or instruct a lot of uh, soldiers across the country on military justice system, the right of a soldier and uh, even um, the legal system of uh, UN operations. I don't rent it soldiers them a lot on renting and they don't go on peacekeeping successfully and don't come back. So like now that kind of work I've been doing at the army too, until I've been for like lost my job. We had a year three Nafrabi College in reading law. Well after that period it'd be a bit difficult for me for like complete me my studies in Nafrabi College and gain admission at law school. So when you be the Nafrabi so, College at that time? Now the army be the pay the tuition. Yes, yes. Now okay, army so be the pay for me. When you lost the job, mm. you lost the opportunity where the army be the use. Definitely. Okay. Definitely. So it's been tough. Um, um, yes, yeah, it's been tough. But um, with goodwill and uh, people then being able for come to me, I will be able for a struggle and able for complete the course in the army. Okay. Again, admission at the law school. It'd be tough again for like pay me fees. But then that was where sometimes my uncle can come in, the father. Okay, the yeah, sometimes we can get on tough <laughs> because it's not you know, easy, family pressure. But uh, I'll be able to convince him and he'll be able to see the reason and need for able for pay that fees. I think it was 10 million and I'll be able to get that money from her under very difficult times because then it's you not know, easy for them. But then again, um, it'll not be successful because so myself decide like for postpone that path there and they before the year? law school uh, that was in 2015, 2015 16 years so okay. it did not been work out well for me so i decide for put that aside yes, yes okay. and then focus in political career because i see still like i um, suffer so unjust removal from the military and so i've been feeling like it was politically motivated especially when i left them pull me in the army on the wrong provisions of the law or the policy way be there in place so it even affects me for get jobs because i even apply i think about three times or two times now the u.s embassy a security investigator i go for the interview i think they were very pleased in me but they may need for do a background check either like then cross check with the military they're not give them information about me so been difficult for me, so I'm not being the option, but for choose the part of politics. So, um, the part of politics where you choose, you come inside politics, was it revenge, or you think, say, that same part where you talk, say, you know, like for see people and see advantage, and I make you come inside there? It's really, it's it's heavy. I did, I did before the camera now, like, uh, feeling I like shouting, it. yes. Uh, I would really like, like let them pull the camera off before me small. I don't want to shut yet. We will take a short break. We are back again with the Deputy Minister of Internal Affairs, Lahai Lawrence Lima Jr. No wonder on social media, people like they say Jr. Like I can you wonder say, who's Jr.? Who that is you call Jr.? So it's like people that says Junior and the people that we grew up up with that they know that name they close family members. Yeah, close family members. Okay. And now the world we said we'll join 
in that. Um, we will talk about um, the transition from all the pathway the deputy minister explained to me coming into the political arena. So you coming in, what's going to be the motivation? Well, um, I think say, um, a lot of uh, injustices maybe people will suffer because of uh, um, political reasons, uh, okay. especially when we got selfish politicians. So I just will say, I mean, get a duty for make sure say, I expose some of the bad policies to okay. so that people get them right. Um, maybe in CBC as a victim, and I believe see a lot of other people will be able to do that kind of thing. And, uh, so I try to prevent that. It, it already serves as the guinea pig. So I try to prevent that and say, let me come, let me use also the roots of politics for able for make sure say, not to revenge per se, but for make sure say, a service of justice. And make sure say, um, you will not victimize somebody because you are in position of authority. If you not get satisfaction over in presence, I think it is but proper that you lay them off to the right procedure with really the law or policy prescribed. Because the military actually get regulations will say if you're not satisfied with somebody inside the service, then uh, you place I mean, the, 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 the defense council also get the responsibility for them. You can look at them and able for see how best thinking, say service no longer require for removal under the army. But then you get the right provisions where you need for go to, where at least you're able for help the person subsequently for able for seek job. But if you put somebody, for instance, say you pull them for misconduct, like it happened in my own case, where I don't ever get query even in my file, and that get for and bug me for get job elsewhere, because everywhere you go for go apply for job, then they make preference as yes, reference to your previous job. And my previous institution not be ready for like give that kind of recommendation because like me, removal from the military, be politically motivated, so who could muster the courage to give a fair recommendation about me? So it was difficult for me. And so because as he say it was politically motivated, myself choose the route of politics and for make sure say I expose some of them vices then they and see how much I cable for play my part and bring in the administration today in governance so that we serve be able for chart the right path into politics. So how are you able to climb the ladder inside the SLPP? Well, I come SLPP with new experience. <clears throat> and as a child where I grew up, um, I don't participate in many, many um, activities in school. Okay. Um, like even the reintegration process, the main for like train we as trainers for make we also go train people them how for reintegrate um, in a society where you don't affected by war and how much people for able for build the peace. So from form three, I don't participate in that thing. Yeah. I was a member of Friends of the Art in school. I mean, I've been Boy Scout. So I get a wealth of experience as a child where they come up. And uh, above all, I father them, men me at some stage. And uh, from as a child, I don't they go to church almost every Sunday. I don't they sit. Father then they preach someone to me. and. Um, in the Catholic Church, the sermon is more or less um, show, it deal with social issues, it deal with political issues, it deal with well governance issues. I mean, and uh, so a lot of when you attend the Catholic Church every Sunday, it's like sitting in a lectures. So over time, I don't grow <coughs> matured in then understandings and they and uh, also do literature in our school. All of them one and they be also build on me analytical skills. And as somebody we don't they read law and don't go through the military. So I come in the in politics with wealth of experience. So, and so at some points, then they give me some platform for make I go, exactly. yes, uh, talk on issues. Mm -hmm. But then, um, when I come, I really not be understand how for good politics. So I was more or less professional in my approach where I they gonna read yourself, because coming from a professional background like the military, you get for choose what you say. So. I think the first approach where I begin to for SLPP get for do with uh, the Ebola. Um, we view perspective on the Ebola. And then turn and then begin the spot me say I get a lot of ideas and are able for present them. And uh, take to a point to say we can get for lost the late Honorable Musa Tambasa. Yes, and so yes, uh, me, yes. Me, when we lost Musa Tambasa, I think then we want bury him as. Uh, somebody will die as Ebola victim, whereas um, 
we say no, you know, die of Ebola is or she could not be buried that way. So that night, me and one of my colleagues, we named Johnny, we've been doing a culture radio. And I think I talk extensively on the implications and uh, the, the legal implications and the political implications and social implications. I think the authorities of the par in the party and also even government authorities follow me extensively on that program. And after that, I think uh, then we invite the uh, Honorable Tondone when I've been the acting publicity secretary with uh, Ojukutu Macaulay to a debate as to whether then for remove the rules we been the govern the uh, um, the Ebola we be the restrict people and movement or if for stay especially we be done lapse for one month. But then in the law school I've been done do some research on the but then good assignment but I do a research on the the Ebola itself implications. So I've been done the extensive research on that so I was like comfortable when we go on that debate. So I'll be able for really hit the points them way. Well, the government's not be entirely remove the rules, but then relax the rules and that be able for give some a lot of people yeah, respite, yes, for let them go about their business and able for regenerate the economy of this of the country. So that was how the party began for pick me, say, well, I get a lot of knowledge and are fearless in terms of putting my point across. Initially, I came to the party for the club, be young generation leader, for able to mobilize, recruit yes. the young people, um, well, not for like use violence for like able to achieve a goal, but rather for use the non-violence approach, but like we able to get a thorough understanding on how governance to go, and also that we know the role as a political parties, especially when we rule is defined in the constitution, for that we know how best we can able to play with own part, and for make with voice be felt and for shape the political opinion. That was how I wanted to like recruit the young people in the party for make sure say, we get a firm grip and take experience from the elders and able for make myself formidable in the party. But then later, um, the authorities of the party see, say, I get a lot with them go able for tap into. So when late Honorable Musa Tambasam die, the interest for make a be publicity secretary in the party come from okay. Kenema. <clears throat> now, me, <clears throat> my cousin called me from Kenema, say, Tamba Sam don't die. A lot of people worried as to would I go perfectly That's replace okay. her. Mm -hmm. He says, so me name the all over Kenema, people are discussing me for make her succeed Tamba Sam because when I'm pulling at the army, for the first time, we like, uh, the monologue program, they host me. The way I come out and the way I present me issues, a lot of people see, say, I get a lot of ideas and I know how for do presentation. So, so because of that, Kenema people then feel say me could be a perfect representation to Tamba Sam. But then I consult me on Kuna Fada. <laughs> so the next moment I'm in Mama, I say, okay, you go get back to me. The next morning I'm in Mama and I call me, say, me na die, I won't die. So <laughs> me don't go put them on politics and then you know, they, the possibility they don't die now and I won't go take that position. But then as fitted as I am, I tell me Mama, say, life, you don't know who say they die. Mm -hmm. And uh, you don't know who say they live your life. I don't go join army. We involve life and death. Life and death yeah. I don't come out with life. Now God no more knows how a man die. This is a service, and if it is a calling of God, I cannot deny it. So I able for convince me, Mama, able for understand. And eventually, I think me name and the name of one other guy we call Chernoba come up for publicity secretary eventually. So the meeting with them go. Um, the president now, then he was a very strong opposition man be able for approve of me name of me name for let them go able for I uh, put me la the act. So I don't need that act capacity. Tea. But before that self when then come the neck meeting now because neck now the second biggest body of a party will be finally get for approve and endorse me as the acting publicity secretary. And I think approve well. So when we go on the on the conference now, I been get forget an overwhelming uh, victory in the process and so that was how I became an officially elected uh, National Publicity Secretary for the SLPP. And my role play is significant to with success. Mm -hmm. And today we are in governance. And I uh, don't able to transform quick from the opposition tone mm -hmm. to now a governance publicity secretary. And so that is how so far I done the in politics and eventually His Excellency the President know me personally by strength and by weakness and so we decide for appoint me as the deputy minister of internal affairs 
And I don't go one for praise myself because my performance day to the public assessment. But as deputy, I think I don't give my boss the extensive support. But I ain't, I ain't get the decisions for make. But at the same time, I really don't work with them closely for like we able to achieve um, holistic security. We might not say we are 100%. Some of yes. The stories, then, mm. from your office. A mm. lot of people the question say <coughs> the rules then mm. it look a clash representing the party and mm. representing the state. Mm -hmm. Which you you can function in both ways correctly. You know things say they mix the mm. party into the state or because people then they say no when the party let the party stay out let somebody they talk for the party so when the deputy minister want to talk on behalf of the state he is talking strictly on behalf of the state well um it all depends on everybody individual and professional instinct and in life uh, as long as you are you're an all-rounder you're able to know exactly when for act this way and when for act that way so an all-rounder for you before do multitasking perfectly and uh, differently when the need and occasion arise. And I think, say, even as the Deputy Minister of Internal Affairs, I don't clearly able for divorce my role from as Publicity Secretary and as Minister, Deputy Minister of Internal Affairs. And so I don't ever fuse the two. And I know exactly when for act as a national person and when for also look at things from the party in your own lens. So I know don't really fuse the two. And I think I don't function effectively well. And uh, it's still up to the party. And I think say, I'm still willing to serve the party. And because it's like getting somebody who is a publicity role, it's a very crucial and sensitive role as well. Mm -hmm. You need somebody who's loyal to the institution. You need somebody who's also sincere to the people because Equally so as a party, it's just, say, it's a segment, say, you look at things from, uh, well, you go say it's, it is a sect, where perhaps person will feel, say, for, if you talk from party lens, you, you merely sectarian for just appease the membership of your party. But at the same time, people also need to understand, say, even when you talk as a party, um, um, executive or party authority, you also de, use that platform for also serve the country. Because then you try to win the hearts and minds of Sierra Leoneans, generally, where not necessarily means they get for be you party members. So if you not see things from a national perspective, then you're not also even able to use your party standpoint and able to win the hearts of people where not to you party members or where not believe in your party. For like they're able to see any need for, say, your party now a, 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 a very viable institution where you're able to come for serve the country. So if you also left things from the party in your own, in your own side and come for looking from a national, national perspective as, uh, as, as the Deputy Minister of Internal Affairs, I think my role clearly defined in the Constitution of Sierra Leone. And uh, from that lens, I think, say, I'm serving every Sierra Leonean. Mm -hmm. And uh, whether you be APC or SLPP, my service open up to every Sierra Leonean. And as a young man, I believe, say, I get a responsibility also for serve people then diligently as prescribed by law and as far as the constitution when our guiding document. So I don't feel, say, in one moment, I really don't fuse these two or compromise these two. I don't able to act perfectly um, between the two. And I don't feel, say, I don't really confuse my role. Internal affairs, um, when people in the talk nowadays, Mm -hmm. They talk about lawlessness mm -hmm. and internal affairs. Law come now to you, the deputy. Mm -hmm. You get a military background. Whenever people say the military, they talk about discipline. Yep. And you see, waiting they go now. Then they talk about pampas, coach, and all those things. Um, what in the ministry don't they do for cut down on the lawlessness and political violence? These two things now allow diving small. Political violence and lawlessness. Well, um, political violence. Like precisely, you get for diagnose the cause. Okay. What are some of the causes of violence? Maybe a lot of people will say youth unemployment. Somebody go and say because me a minister. But before I come for be a minister, I think I don't the outside job for a while. You said we did look for job. Definitely, and okay. I not choose the path where it go negatively affect me growth, mm -hmm. or go negatively affect the opportunity when job come where go disadvantage me for get job. So I always choose the right path. Even when job was not there, I keep striving positively for able to make 
effort and properly prepare myself so that when the job can go be suitable for the job. So I never see the part of violence for me to for explore into. Even at some point when I thought I was disadvantaged, I not explore the part of violence, but rather I explore the positive part and properly prepare myself for the opportunity come agreeable for make use of her. Well, you go on for say, well, maybe not because I acquire some form or some level of Western education. The other person will say, but that man not sabi book. If I not be sabi book, as a good citizen, what are things I be need for do? I for still choose that pathway go able for still able for make my life meaningful. Like if I decide to self na even an a cassava garden, granite garden, potato garden, I able for embark on. I believe say that side we may not be able for cover. I go able for save some resources. We go still able for make me be better. A lot of things perhaps people might not also know about me. Even before I able for attain education, get job na the army. When we come on as a child then, I think around the age of seven, we were pulled away with the Kenema. I did with my auntie, like I will go sell cool water, because then that year will come, like we'll be done late for school, but like we'll be the trifle also, day with them and fair money, so that when school in come, we'll go before go school effectively. So like I'll go sell cool water, I'll put them, we'll put the water on the cool man, I will go, so then I will sell quick. I was very effective in terms of dancing and the, I will sell quick, so then I put the cool man aside, I will tote load, from them vehicle, we will come up, we passengers in the car, we told them load them on my head. I will go left the outside, they go left, then they go, then I will get small thing for them. And then they will cut an all day in a taxi, then and some side, and then you need somebody like for a PUT load. So I will told them load, and they will get small thing. By then, my mother even be the pound, my small brother in Belay. So it's been difficult for we then, and I go don't get a get a small, small thing. And because maybe they told me, until I go eat. But then, my mama and I, it was difficult. So I will get a small, small thing, go to the market. So I said, buy yams, plant tea, they have 15 days. I go left and to my mama quick. I can take the cool man back. I go load water. I can sell, sell quick back again. I do me quick, quick dragging. I get small money. I go give me mama. So this is how I did it. And then as a small boy, I'll not be ever exposed to them. And I'm sick. i sick at some point. Me and Antina be nurse. He treats me. I'm not well better self. I go again for good drag. I just say, we go left something to my mama. Since my mama be deeper belly, I'm not going to strive. So. I did part and they one day nine me and Tino say I know well better, I don't go drag. So he hold me, he beats me, he said, ah, tawa, come on, I was there, I go to my mama now permanently. So even with my mama, I don't sell Kanyati help for even pay for me on school. I don't go primary school. At some point, my mama sick, and I go come out school, can beat Kanya. I beat the Kanya, I go I go sell. Where I don't sell, sometimes the profit, I buy, buy, I can't make cook. I cook, I put my mama in, you know, my mama recover. So, Basically, in a then kind of life, then they are go through. They are able to make my mama recover, able to make some ends way, for make able to succeed. Eventually, my uncle left Kono now as priest, he can't settle Kenema. Then I don't do them from five, then I went to SS2. So he been there for drumming here, I've been there with her now. From them period, and they, at least like what I go eat now, it's not been too difficult for me again. Uh, so I've not been there, them is cigarette, they have to go sell. Na police station, I've not been deep on any kind of thing, I've been there for full course, for life, for pass my WAS exams. Mm -hmm. So eventually, I've been there for go through the WAS and I pass the WAS exams. Uh, for go university, but I remember I said, mm, it go difficult if I still go direct to university. My uncle go be a, he go try, try to so go pay the beer fees. One of the other things that I will go be for keep me up at the university will be difficult. And then, like, I've been there for repeat the WAS. My colleagues have don't go ahead of me, and so I'll be also very competitive at the school. I say, no, let me use an alternative route so we go still keep with social status apart. So then that year, they be the advertised cadet. But eventually, I mean, initially in a British Army, I won't go join. That's when they forms and can be out for go join British Army. So I've been there in this process, like for find somebody will go support me, because then you be need to get a host in the UK. So I go for go find one British officer for able for support me. Then eventually, I go meet up one Sierra Leone officer will motivate me, inspire me, say, Sierra Leone is doing well mm -hmm. as cadet. He's just coming from Canada. So there are opportunities and they say, ah. I said, well, look, my result by able. He said, yeah, you say your result good. Now the physical exercise, and so he writes mm -hmm. some recommendations for me. You know, I'm possibly not be able to jog for me to understand, so I begin train. Train over time, I able for the cover distance, and I can't learn at this time, I'm not too used to people, and at Thomas Street, yeah, I'll be there, because my uncle been getting a shop at Thomas Street. So I be the calm day, it's another till I shop the man be the sleep in the morning. I go take him from Donda Skit, go Kungu Kro, I mean uh, Kungutong, take under hill, Rondo, yes. So now so I be the jogging at this tonti. 
a time for the intake reach. I go now Benguima. Benguima begin go test the area also the run. Um, but then say when you they prepare it's different from the actual day. Exactly. So when the actual day come for the training, we don't take exams, every other thing, go press up, sit up, we go run. It was a very tough moment, but eventually I'll be succeed. Okay. So that was how I can get a job now. They helped me, Mama. Put me small one then. Like I have said before, yeah, three way I can lost job now. My small sister self now, if you don't reach university now. But then say we battle battle and wait to Eventually, I can get back again, job back, and able for still a sister I don't done now. Okay. Thankful enough now, we we'll defend the job now for himself for like able for the work somewhere. So all this come out from the unemployment mm -hmm. where people then um, know they try for strike. Yes, yes. For get something. Yes. Going. Definitely. Sorry, I lost my thoughts yes. along the way. Okay. Yes. So essentially, I try for say, um, and not necessarily means it because you know sabi book, mm -hmm. you go choose the part of violence. I not be in Sabi Better book at some point, but I be see say there is still a way where I can able for go away, not to for thief, mm -hmm. not to for violence somebody for life will survive. I use them other means them of able for make ends meet for even able to assist me people them. Still focus for land book. And within their struggles and they are able to get myself educated and today here I am. So it not mean say because somebody no land book and not go able for choose the path way positive way go add value to exactly. in life. But we get youth them today we they don't because they're not able to get themselves education. They feel say life not only for like somebody can give you handout, for like you go use violence, but other people them for give them that political might. At the end of the day, you did you not treated fairly. So, what do you mean want for say to young people and we they expose themselves to people the way they give them money for use violence? Now at their own peril then they do them. I they find them very difficult for for make a really incarcerate young man go put on a, a prison because I know what it mean even if they're not torture if they even if they not beat you in a prison the fact say they seize that freedom let's say three o'clock then go lock you inside you do they take and it's do clean it's a very difficult moment so I know go one for see young man for go through that kind thing day but it sounds like say some a lot of young people and today and prefer for good itself than they even day out and make their own way for survive. Today we get a very fertile land. I think say if you man then see the part of saying, okay, if me not go school self, I can still be able for go do agricultural investment. If we come together and make a group with society, say we they cultivate a land and maybe for make garden. When I can able for do that garden, initially when I go find it difficult, but when I not go know how, as when I progress in time, how much you go able for help on her. And tomorrow sometimes when I go be even an employer of a lot of people. Or they see a lot of people don't go abroad, I don't see a lot of People and they left them country and then they go do many a job now overseas. Way sometimes then they are then send a garden and they do. They go able for help them a lot for make them able for be better people them than waiting and they do. And sometimes some man go there and how much years he come better not they. Where whereas if you been there and decide to like focus by agriculture or or entrepreneurship for even decide to like they do small small business, so then that go able for help them and get a better life. But if we say we just they depend on handouts. Come meet people in our office, give you small money for the, and survive for the day. Tomorrow you become a victim of circumstance where certain somebody go use you for your advantage. That at the end of the day, you're not going to add any value to your life. You go there, you die like a pauper. So I just feel say if you man and young man and decide for change, that mental state say for the go to bra bra and for the give money, we will eat them for the day, don't done. It's not going to help you and we society not going to ever improve in terms of violence for change. Because at the end of the day, now prison bag will full up. Because what even me they think, maybe naturally people not go able for respond to agricultural cult um, cultivation. What even me they think now the fact say, if we able for get the Criminal um, um, Procedure Act reviewed, it gets a very good uh, provision in their way they do with the bail and sentencing guideline. With that, you can also able for engage with NGOs that make you able for help. Like, then one day we, for minor offenses, you can just take them, carry them go to the prison farms, and able for do some agricultural productivity. And then at the end of the day, they're going to get small, small proceeds wise, then they still serve their terms. By the time they come out, they get a clear mindset now, they don't get used to the agricultural activities. When you come on back, you're able to get small proceeds, and not go decide to let go to that life of idleness, violence, we go carry and go under. They will just decide, say, what have you done there and what they do? I don't come against something, I continue for doing. I think that way, 
It takes time, but over time, we'll be able to change the mental There's state of school people. of thought where yeah. they say, mm. okay, now I will just use Okada Gai as, them, mm. as an example. Mm -hmm. Yes, they create job for themselves. Mm -hmm. Say, then they're able to make them. But inside day again, we they see lawlessness day. Mm -hmm. So, when you go to the villages, and I don't go a couple of villages then, where I talk to old people, them like, all the young ones them don't want to go to the farm. Instead, they want to ride Okada because mm -hmm. Okada, they give them fast money. You come out today, you don't get what you want today. Going to the farm, and the old people them, there is a village not too far from Freetown. Mm -hmm. I go there, and I just see old people them, and the people them don't, they don't get that strength there again, for able for even provide for that particular village. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the young one, they're all now Okada, they ride. Mm -hmm. They don't want to go to the farm anymore. But when you check inside the Okada riding, you get people that will lawless day, even though they are creating jobs for themselves. So what in the on a ministry they think about this whole situation of lawlessness? It's really bad. And uh, I think it not only depends on the ministry, but it requires a collective uh, effort as a nation, just like we yourself don't come for make a give me own part yes. of the story and how we be able for collectively solve this I see I'm as a menace in our country. And I think, say, firstly, we need also, we the young one, as I for need for no say, Okada riding, not to the best option for like we able for survive. Firstly, law say, even if not to you get bike now, somebody buy them, a give you. And if you boku, how much you able for make for pull master money for the day? How much you able for make for let you say survive? As a young man, you able to do them, but by the time you don't get where from picking, it becomes difficult for like you able for sustain that. Whereas if you decide to say, okay, I'm back on a culture, let's say the number of people that we're doing to Okada riding, even if then they use that proceeds where then they get by Okada riding and decide for investing in agriculture, if they even do a cooperative, decide to say, Lord, we do an agricultural investment, then go end up find out, say, eventually then go turn them back from Okada riding and focus into agricultural productivity. But until the mindset is, tilt, is tilted in that direction, they are never going to know the viability of the land and how much the land will be able to give it. So, as a ministry, much as we strengthen the laws for make sure, say, we try for keep Okada riders them within the remit of the law, for letting them operate within, within the law says. At the same time, we also need for, like, they conduct a kind of seminar or a workshop for them for, like, they also go to look at alternative means of bike riding because that may not be in forever. Because the too much bike self again self weight on the floor at the city, it makes they, they make one they're not even follow rules mm -hmm. because everybody want for ride for the day for pulling master money and because then boku competition too heavy or some days or not go able to even pull the money you will come in confrontation with police then get for seize your bike if they seize your bike how you go survive for the day but if you been get an alternative means if they seize your bike you will say okay lad they go to my garden lad they do small small thing we are a young population if we only decide for be very energetic and see the opportunity of we land, how for able for cultivator and utilizer. I think so that we able for help with a lot and we'll be able for realize say farming are the best means than the way to for empower people them faster. So you know come automatic. And because people and don't use that by credit, they don't even make them lazy just like we they explain for go begin till the swell. Mm -hmm. But if you begin conduct seminar for them and work with the executive for let themselves even see the need for get land, for do farming, and then get people and where they go work in other land, or we design a policy, any bike rider where they catch they violate the law, farm the way they go for go work. At the end of the day, they get more money. So until that way, you go able for for skillfully able for change the mindset from bike riding to our cultural productivity. But it's not going to be able to happen if you say no more let somebody willingly or voluntarily do them. So there should be a policy guide, a policy framework in place where we're able to make sure say that bike rider where they ride or can a CBD where not supposed for can a CBD where they hold and enough for just seize the bike. Instead of going to Pademba or going to sell, let go do some um, 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 some 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 work on a farm. Not to free you, you go still get smart and let not appear like you're violating right. They go to get smart in. So by the time they come out, they don't, they go don't get used to that one aspect and get used to this. So they go get options for choose whose path they want for go, whose path they don't want for go. If you do farming, sell business, not get for the pay you. You don't get for you say you violate law. Then when they come back, you ride bikes until after one, two times, you come in confrontation with the law and then at the end of the day, you go in a tight place, you get for good way. So you go choose, say, why I not go focus on this? So sometimes... The society itself or the young people themselves willingly not go on for do this, 
But as leaders, we I think that we need for formulate that kind of policy. We will also able for help for transform the mindset of the young one and foresee an alternative means of survival. Who they talked earlier? They mm -hmm. talked about changing the laws, the bill, and all those things. Mm -hmm. um, we talked to a lot of Makitoman. Mm -hmm. But who Makitoman did not have them all? Due to they go take market up now the provinces, Canton, Tonova not good. Mm -hmm. Maybe na pepe a rotting. Maybe na perishable goods they rotting. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, police can then take them. But it's the law. Then go through the court system, court send them go pa them by road. How are those people going to pay back those people when then they na pa them by road? So people and they say, you know what thing? There should be a way for those those kind of um, um, crime, if you may call and say a crime mm -hmm. or thing we go bad, mm -hmm. we then, there should be a way we then people and they go still then as streets they sell, mm -hmm. then get a payment plan where they come and pay back them people and they instead of taking them to Pademba Road. Yes, that again self really good. You know, would they issue out microcredit to people and we maybe get the understanding, say especially when government entity or agencies give money to them people and get the mindset say this is not government money now with money, yes. even if I not pay back. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day the need for understand, say, you the humbug the development of the government or of the country will eventually will even affect you and you picking them. If government not able to get fund for also able to help the one they way, then self not able to get access to the first money they don't give you, then it will become a burden. And at the end of the day, they don't picking and say not able to survive. So what do you mean feel safe for happen? Before then dish out the money they need to people there. Firstly, the need for engage them. Kind of sensitization workshop and it should be consistent not to just where you give them the money and then you for also try for make sure say them pay back sometimes again they say business can go bad eventually they can run loss but again business ethics entrepreneurship people not they just jump into her and sometimes the man they're not capable for the assist they're not they assist the woman there so there's too much of burden on that small business where them people and they do for able to help them begin and that make in fact government try for like do free quality education so it's not just about the free quality education that the parent and beginning to go to school but let them know say at this point where they're not going for pay school fees again waste on 10 and not they get for pay uh, lunch again more because of the school feeding program let the parent and know say that money that period that begin to go to school that school fee so if you don't they pay for her you can able for save them into something else by the time that beginning they don't school you can able use that money they now for able paying university fee or do some kind of improved business so the whole thing here is not just giving the loan out but at the same time we also need for engage them business people and they and give them some literacy give them some kind of explanation for able for understand how for able for do business when you trust money are you able for payback where you pay back government go able for use that money or the agency will responsible for loan you go able for use that money for also give to other people let them not be don't get access for get the loan and for increase your own business as well based on how you they pay today we the grumble say now foreign people and whole investment in this country lebanese nigerians but then when they loan a bank then they pay back then they make sure say if they go loan uh, 50 million or 10 million they know they go say, let like go buy private motor car, like they drive for us. Then they make sure say them do that business. They the profit where don't where the profit don't come, they don't pay down. That profit they wouldn't all are now for themselves. They now know say, okay, I don't get my own business money now. If they begin to work now from there now, the profit where they carry the money don't book. Now that's how you go remember say, okay, let like go buy motor car or let like go billows. But Sierra Leone and now we entirely different. We will go loan the money. We not even start the business. We don't go now for luxury opportunities. Eventually, you know they will pay. Then. The post itself now go see say, I won't forget my money or I use this kind of punitive measures. But that again, not able to give you money back. So, for able to change the dynamics, we're able to make sure, say, let we try to make sure say, we engage the business people there, give them some kind of education, and let them understand, say, if we're able to do like how the foreign investors than they do, we can make real investors in Sierra Leone and then go well, become great. Well, let me come to the database, the blockchain. Mm -hmm. How far down they don't they go? Because if we get a database of every Sierra Leonean, mm -hmm. where it will show everything about you, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not saying tradi tradi like when we be ready for left salo, mm -hmm. I say I did go go do talk mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But those days have gone. Now the president we don't launch this blockchain. Say this one will really really help we for boost we Sierra Leoneans them for loan. So how far this don't they go? 
Well, that with the registration. Um, I think statistics. Uh, I, can, I can't give much okay, on much, that. Yeah. Yes, statistics cable for help in that, and I think even with the DSTI, okay. uh, we now this new creativity of information and technology. I think then they able for do then data collections, and they were either working with statistics Sierra Leone because or the Ministry of Finance. Big time. Yes. We for believe we self say okay. This now this now this it gets now mm -hmm. so 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 now so we go able make every month and then we go mm -hmm. for a loan mm -hmm. because when you come back to the business people and they, they tell you say the banks then prefer for lend or loan foreigners then mm -hmm. rather than Sierra Leoneans. Yeah. yeah. But again, you just give a scenario whereas some Sierra Leoneans go go get a loan and rather choose for good luxury mm -hmm. than doing waiting them to take this loan. For. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On, in another aspect, we. Most of the people then find out say the deputy minister of internal affairs he is very active on social media. Mm -hmm. Why? Well, um, it's trendy. Yes. Today we own generation or we own age. Um, Nyanda more or less we get with information, mm -hmm. and uh, we get a lot of knowledge at the social media. If you not used to hold a novel again for say I read novel. You can see a lot of decent write up where you can read extensively and it empower you. You understand? Because um, not every trash on social media you read, but then you get a lot of educative programs then on social media where they're also able to inform your mental state and your reading ability. So if you also check, um, quite a good number of young people get smartphone and then they use social media. So a very uh, good means for also positively influence change in our society. You go recall, I think, well, I go say we will belong to the old school where we did grab up. We, at least in the early 80s or late 70s, we were born. We be the right gig, we be the play church, we be the play pombo, tennis, boskidi. But then they all know again. Ask most of the beginning to the way they grow up, busy with smartphone. So most of the things and in fact, will be the play now, you go see, I'm saying, you didn't have smartphone, and everybody busy with So. That is where also again you socially also they interact with people and for me um over time i don't see how much i don't use the social media platform positively for able for influence change mm -hmm. and break through um the the myth where apcb the thing say now only barrel go pull in a na 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 power at some point when we got into the campaign when it become very heated we the no say me now not the reserve for say things then we real and so like then go even like seize the media from inviting me for say me beats, say me mine. I believe in one thing, like from one way I where I follow in Machulita and some of in, in write ups them or in speeches then we say by every means you have to keep moving. If you can run, if you can fly, run, if you can run, crawl, if you can crawl. But by every means you should keep working. So for me, if you can hear me, you can read me. So now me believe that. If you know they call me in the media and the um, 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 electronic media for lack and talk, you go read me now the print media. So, because once I write my article, you go must read them <laughs> exactly. Then, that way, also, I go also before through the social media, I also able to see misinformation. And I think, say, if I get a role for play for correct the information, if I get the right information, I go there and correct the information. And democratic governance is about debates, it's about who that they win the debate of the day. Well, basically, in order for be manipulative basically like give wrong information for that at the end of the day you are not genuinely winning it so for me i just feel say come up with a real story come with a correct story correct the, the the wrong story so that's why most times you see me like on social media and quite apart from that yes me a young man but i hold a very responsible position now not to everybody not my friend why because if i make you my friend i don't know your networking i don't know your level of interaction I don't know how much your level of interaction will implicate me. I don't know how much you want for use my status for also get some advantage by the wrong means. So because of that, I just take and say, if politics left me today, I still need my life for go on. So I need for also guide and shape my path as to how I go. And as a very young man, we don't assume responsibility at this age. I think, say, I uh, get with long life, good health, the opportunities are big for me. So one thing I need for do now for em empower my mind with a lot of information. So after work, if I don't get meetings and for go, for attend, 
I didn't have my house, I did read. I get a lot of books then for read now. So if I know the read book, I want for go in for new information, I come on the social media. So if I do on the social media most of the time, now for able for read a lot of things, not on mostly even on political discourse, but I can see a lot of educative articles the way I can read and I can learn from them. So that is more or less the reason why maybe you will always see the green button on me, social media page, say this guy is always two, on the social two media. Things don't happen. Mm -hmm. We make you trend on social media. Mm -hmm. We the first one will be concerning Honorable Tawa, mm -hmm. and the interview will be get uh, AYV. Mm -hmm. We and we will go for go clear the air mm -hmm. on the party in yeah. standing. Yeah. Um. Then after that, we sit and be trained for long mm -hmm. because it's then our page. I mm -hmm. think he gets. Almost fifty thousand views now. Ah. Yes, that particular interview day. Okay. And we see the other one we now happened lately mm -hmm. about um, the incident where the security fire the guy in foot. Although that one they, they now to the law, mm -hmm. the law they deal with them. Mm -hmm. um, but we see them two things that they make your name really trend on social media. Um, what we go look for now is like the first one, honorable Tawai issue. Mm -hmm. That one they don't pass. Now let me just deal with this latest one. Even though it day on the law in your sign now where they deal with that, you tell me say you go follow up um, to the latter. Mm -hmm. Are you still following it? Definitely. Um, like I say initially, I know one for see you side are the me directly or anybody around me for inflict pain on young people. Okay. Yeah. But at the same time also, it takes leader for make it takes strong leadership for make a decision okay. for the general good of everybody. And uh, like I don't say before, some people know they choose the right way for give themselves happiness and happiness to the other people. And uh, everybody got a role for playing our society. If we're in leadership role, we responsibility now for make sure say the one that will not conform or comply with laws will be able for keep the peace of others. You enforce the law for make sure say you keep them conduct within the framework of law so that others will be able for enjoy them peace. That's where I find myself. And so um, in the process of standing for what is right in society, many will believe for go the wrong way, not to see you as a pleasant person. And because another see you as a pleasant person, you always become a target of elimination. Somebody like me will get a military background. I know what it means when you become a target of elimination or a target of character assassination. So I'm always guided. I, I know say I can, able, I can only do my best, but the rest I left unto God. But that way they will team is control. That the way they will team is strength for do. I know they do them selfishly. I know they do them for any selfish reason. I they do them because I know say if I need for act, or somebody around me need for act so that they go able for bring sanity for the peace of a lot of other people, then I think say, I need for coming to actions. So um, as we grow into the political trend, even a family owner, they, there are times your brothers are not going to like you because you they become a shining star of the family. But then if you very smart, if you're wise, you go know how to conduct yourself where go make the hatred of your brothers them not go able for deprive what in God want for do for you. So you need for only know how to navigate around them. We see in the story of the, the Bible, how Joseph and brothers them also gang against them. So sometimes oppositions around you not necessarily mean say it's external. It could be internal. It could be external. But you only need to get an understanding of your environment and what is happening. So for me, I know say I hold a very critical position. And I'm very determined and willing for work for this country as a young person and also help the president for make able for succeed in in drive and in goal because me and one person will be champion the president in campaign and for also present the president as a very good leader for this country. And I feel say when we don't come, I get this understanding say many will not be believing in leadership, go still one for pull and down for letting us succeed. So I know say if we not work with the president for let it succeed. Tomorrow, some of us cannot confidently come back and meet the people and tell them, say, I will tell them, I say, President Bill, I'm the rightful leader. So the only zeal and confidence where I'll get back will come out to the people then. Now I will get countless things that President Bill don't achieve for tell the people and say, I told you President Bill was the right among, I mean, was the rightful person among the lot of people that we contest with. So for me, me focus now how much the president get for able to succeed. 
Many will think, say, yes, they also focus in the president in success, but at the end of the day, they also have to have an opportunity to make their own means. Maybe go see me as a threat. Go see me as a difficult person. Go see me as this. So, they wonder where they are around me, self. I they tell them, say, look, firstly, you are here to guard me. Then they come with their own instructions because they are under their own chain of command. Yes. Then they come for protect me and my family and my property. But as somebody also we don't they we don't they in the force before and not just like uh, a functional gun toting officer. I was also a functional paralegal, let me put it that way, because I don't learn some legal aspects as to how you even control gun, how you also they mitigate violence. So if I don't train personnel them over time in the army, I think say anybody with the around me will hold gun. I need for like subject the mind into some exercise of different scenario, how you the use weapon, in what situation you the use weapon for take somebody in life, when you no get for taking life, how the rules of engagement apply to that weapon we hold. Because the first thing whether they train anybody will hold weapon, not that that you weapon are your life. You for protector has how you de protect your life. So if anybody get for attempt for pull your weapon a yarn, now your life it try for put to a threat. Let alone now you also have a third party where you de protect. You understand? So it's like if you you come under pressure with your weapon by some violence or aggressive people, it is not only jeopardizing your own life, but even the third party where you also de protect, also you de jeopardize in life. So you get for look at the circumstances, the situation as to which you do apply the law. So for me, everybody where they around me get that kind of orientation. And even for my own people and so they come to me. When they come, I'd always tell them say, before you allow somebody come to me directly, anybody who come to me will say me and gap on me. Tell the postal they call me. He must get me phone number. So that I don't go left inside my room on a way as you can. Because we don't see situations in this country we say a whole general. When I be my own boss now the army. Die like a proper when also be any basic skills for defending your own life. But all that you the only defeat a professional when you take them by surprise. Yeah. And so when you deny your room, you're comfortable, you believe say security they out there where they watch over you. So until you get forgive them that kind of brief and orientation, I think say then command structure they do very well before then they deploy there. Because okay. then we don't tell them all oh, within their duties, within their functions, and so they can do them effectively well. So like I've been always say, I've been there inside, I don't be even know which transfer out. I just hear the sound and follow up on that. And when I don't look at the whole thing, like learn of prejudice, whatever yeah, investigation, investigation is going on, yeah, that's why I, like I cannot give any con conclusive, conclusive statements yeah. around that. Mm -hmm. But eventually, I just try to say that uh, one way we'll be able to control some of them things, yeah. Because what you learn then come from a particular politician. Whether he gave them money, whether he gave them money mm -hmm. on a motive or not, not so. let we self try for able to understand how best we'll be able for as politicians or as leaders in our environment. We need for able to understand how much we'll be able to relate with some of the young people there, where something likely they don't get understanding as to what they do, whether a wrong or a right. They're not able to understand that we were in leadership position, are we able for need for guide them? If we not guide them well, at the end of the day, we'll push them into the wrong reasons, and at the end of the day, we'll jeopardize their life. Definitely. And if you don't want that to happen to young people, then why you want to expose people and picking into that? Because, like I say, I don't want to go much into yes. the yes. issues, but Largely, we were in leadership position for able to make sure so we guide their young people they are in life so that the things they will do them, how will they relate to them, go able for also help the mental state for make them become useful people Before to I themselves. Go, I know go feel good if I ask you, what do you thought about we were in the diaspora? Um, I think, say, um, one of the do very well in terms of uh, complementing we effort now. Because why not so everybody get work now? But because of this uh, community life we don't use for live and we don't use for support we serve, even when one of una or some of una don't leave this country, don't go, una know exactly say opportunities then they end up for job. Una they get a job, una they get the money, even though again they una they pay a lot of bills, but something must left now on hand, una know say if na able to send small thing for people then I can able for promote their life. So one way or the other, when I don't help the economy of this country, when I don't help a lot of people where for don't go astray for let their life better, like me say we sit on Anna one, me and sit in Arizona, at some point where I be need for even receipt to us, 
he gave for send for me hundred dollars. That hundred dollars be able for help, not only for pay me fees, but able for help me for pay lunch one or two, three days, study well, with a relaxed mind. Eventually, I'll be able for pass. Today, I did in this capacity. So, I think say we're not in the diaspora. We're they play a significant role towards Sierra Leone and develop one. So, we're not a complementing partner to we we they we're not home base. So, if we complement well. Would be able for push Sierra Leone go before because one, um, one of the house there, one are exposed to a lot of modern uh, things. Then when they come, whereas it will take time for let we get exposed to them, for let we sabi out for do them. So if we partner with one well, we will be able for um, make Sierra Leone also compete with other countries that we don't be ahead of we. So I think say the one that we didn't have the diaspora, then I complement a partner to we the home base and. Effective collaboration, we able for make we push Sierra Leone development one go before. Yeah. We go also minimize risk of even some of the young people that we see temple run as a means for go seek greener pasture abroad. Okay, since you mentioned that, um, I been mean, talk to a few young people in the other day. So I even they talk to them like people are still desperate with all the videos like on the own channel. We don't show videos them where they torture people them where they do. But people are still desperate to want to leave. What's the message for them? I still want for let them see, say, let them think, say, um, all is not bright and beautiful abroad. There are still opportunities in Sierra Leone. We they only we the way they want to go. That, that's my problem. Yeah, yeah. We way they want to go. That temple won. That route they like. I mean, they talk to the other guy. Now he say no to them. But this agent ain't good. So that, that, these agent people. That is where I'm coming. Mm -hmm. Because not only when we think say greater opportunities they out there, we know they are another make see the means of going there. And uh, because if you want to go by the correct means, you see say the restrictions then too many and exactly. it could disadvantage you. People want to go by the illegal means. Um for what, for we as a ministry, I think a lot of people don't come with that kind of project to me here for see how best internal affairs go partner. I say no, I can't be a party to it. One, me a young person. I can all um, establish a partnership with an agency where it will come present concept to me way from the face value. It is okay that this person will go, but when you go now into the real um, 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 or the, uh, into the real things, it's yeah, entirely different from the face value of what you show me now. They eventually, when a young person goes suffer any consequence, and uh, I'm a party to it. So for me, what I don't do, I make sure say this ministry entirely dissociate from that kind of um, 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 partnership. And at the same time, make sure say we strengthen we we immigration laws or we strengthen we immigration vigilance for make sure say we minimize the risk of we use them running into temple run. We eventually go able go put them at risk. Because a lot of them we don't go, we don't see even the consequences. They rush for comeback and they want go I went and don't go now, where they don't come through the consequences now, they want government now. For kind side, where government gets other priorities than for attend to. So in the first place, not put yourself at risk. What you deny if now one lion self you they get, at least you get PC, they go lay down, you sleep, don't clean back, you go try. Somebody not get for kick you, somebody not get for make you a forced labor, somebody not get for put your mindset at risk. So when you deny if now two lion self you they get, all you need for do, because when you go and ask tell you know they work now at your own time. You force for do things, even when you tie the work. If you deny you decide say like I always say, agriculture not the best. If you decide say lago, they go make garden. If not small, say then you do at your own time, and you go able for relax. You go able for make profit and at your own benefit. So the issue of going on temple, you know the help. If you then I that work where you go work and that way, sometimes I force and they force you. Eventually they punish you. Sometimes they cost you your life. If you then I they able save your life. You they able for save money. You go able for do a lot of things. Where sometimes, if you put all your effort, your energy. You say, say go even though for see say it was better and not do temple run. And today, now me don't be somebody where they able for employ other people there. So now just the mindset we need for change. And sometimes the changing of the mindset not go be volunt voluntary. Just like over time when I don't show video, people they see and people still key for go. So we need for come up with policies. We go able for make sure say we change that mindset. Sometimes because people want to do the wrong thing. Create a policy where it will be an alternative means for let them see that pathway one, let them go, where it's good for them. And it takes strong leadership for making people make that tough decisions. A lot of leaders and they afraid bad name. Oh, not afraid bad name. Once now for the collective good, will they make them decisions then they. What's in a last word for you? Um, 
I just want to they want the way they feel say me not that kind of bad person. Yeah. Let them know say me not a bad person. Me not a very young person we mean well for ladies country I go before. And I ready for work with anybody we mean well for Sierra Leone, devoid of your political orientation, me not believe in tribe. Because I believe say we all now one side we come away now God make we all. And so that God will make we all now they not the source. He just decide for create a family unit where each and every one of we go able for attach to that sense of familyhood. But we are all from one source, so I see every individual as a brother, as a friend, and I want for also use my own ability for inspire positive attitude in other Sierra Leoneans, in other citizens, so that collectively we all will work for the good of the country. We will be very peaceful for we all. Thank you very much, Deputy Minister. I'm in pleasure.